This is what my voice sounds like when the background music decides it's the main character. But what if you could actually strip music out of the video after the fact, even if it's baked in? So today I'm testing two ways to remove background music from a video, and one of them I didn't think would work until it did. G'day friends, if you're new here, I help beginner creators get cinematic results without needing expensive gear or a film crew. And if you've watched some of my other videos, I've had lawnmowers, planes, and barking dogs ruin many a take. And we've all been there. You film a great take, only to realize there's music baked into the background, whether it's royalty free or not so free. And now it's welded to your voice like an audio tattoo. So let's fix that starting with a tool most people overlook. So the first solution I have for you is DaVinci Resolve Studio and this is the paid version, it's not the free one. And yes, it costs money. But what you get is something called voice isolation and it's shockingly good. So you open up DaVinci Resolve, you drag in your clip, then drag it down to your timeline. You then open the Inspector tab on the top right and you click on Audio. Then all you have to do is turn on AI voice isolation and if you have an older version of DaVinci Resolve it will just say voice isolation. And you can literally scroll this and adjust this to taste, 80% and above usually does the trick. Won't break the bank and you've come to the right place because in this video I'm going to cover all the features of the new... Won't break the bank and you've come to the right place because in this video I'm going to cover all the features of the... Now obviously results depend on how loud the music is and how your voice was recorded, but not everyone wants... Whoops, I bumped the microphone. <laughs> Not everyone wants to pay for DaVinci Resolve Studio or even open a full editing app to do this. So let me show you a zero cost option that just might work better. And removing background music is tricky. Most tools either flatten everything out or sound awful. But this next option is a browser tool promising clean vocals with zero setup. So let's see if it's a miracle or a mess. Now this tool is called audiocleaner.ai and it feels a little too good to be true. But how you use it is you go to audiocleaner.ai, make sure you sign in with your Gmail account or something like that to get free credits, and then click get started online. Then all you have to do is click my device, then upload your file, a video or an audio file from your computer. And the next option here is to select remove noise and you have a lot of other options here as well, but we're just gonna do remove noise. Then click enhance media, then wait a bit while it works is AI magic. And when that's done, you can just click the play button and listen to your result. It won't break the bank and you've come to the right place because in this video I'm going to cover all And if you're happy, click download result and you're done. As you can see, there are heaps of other features with this software as well, but this is just a quick introduction using the voice removal or the background removal. And here's the part that I thought was actually quite wild. It actually worked. The music fades out, the voice stays in and there's no software to install. Zero editing experience required. Look, I'm skeptical by nature. I once reviewed a drone that said it could fly through a wind tunnel. Spoiler. It didn't, but this, it legitimately impressed me. But even with these tools, there are limits. You can't polish truly bad audio into perfection. So let me give you a few quick tips so you won't need these fixes as often. Whichever tools you use, a few quick tips will get better results. Try to record clean audio when possible. Removing noise afterwards should be plan B, not plan A. If music is on a separate track, just mute it, don't overcomplicate it. And always monitor with headphones because your laptop speakers will lie to you every single time. And just to emphasize that point, I once exported a final video with a cat meowing in the background because I thought it was coming from outside. It wasn't. So which one of these softwares should you actually use? Well, if you already use DaVinci Resolve Studio, their built-in voice isolation is fast and it sounds clean, especially for moderate background music. But if you don't and you want a free option or don't own fancy software, AudioCleaner.ai is generally impressive especially for quick fixes or YouTube ready dialogue. Both of these are linked in the description. Also, if you're trying to get better audio and video results as a solo creator, grab my cinematic starter kit. It's totally free and it includes five tools that I actually use. And give this video a thumbs up if it helps or if you've ever screamed, why is there music in my voiceover? Like I have. And if DaVinci Resolve is your thing and you're just starting out your editing journey, then this video right here will be very helpful for you as it's two hours of DaVinci editing tips. See you over there.